Special thanks to Patreon support of the Red Deer for making this video possible. Hello ladies and gentlemen, Scarito if we're here bringing you another Minecraft Cold War tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and building the ZU-23-2 anti-aircraft gun. This gun here is a anti-aircraft gun that equips two twin 23mm auto cannons on it, making it very good for close in uh, basically anti-aircraft defense. Uh, basically designed to uh, target uh, basically aircraft flying at low altitudes. Uh, most importantly, focusing in on taking out helicopters or um, other uh, very light uh, troop transport aircraft that would be very low to the ground in uh, deploying troops or uh, various other operations, bombing, whatever it may be. Uh, the ZU-23-2 uh, has seen widespread service uh, since 1960 and it's still in service today with many countries. Um, I don't know if the if Russia still uses it, but it very well could be used by them. Uh, but I do know that there are different contracts put out, so there, China's producing this, uh, Bulgaria, and uh, a bunch of other nations have contracts to actually produce this gun design as well. Uh, in total, the Soviet Union produced 140,000 of these units, and that's not even including the uh, other units that were built by other nations. Pretty crazy amount. Uh, of this gun produced. Anyways, this version here is the towed version. So basically it's designed to uh, be towed behind some kind of transport uh, type vehicle. Uh, the video I posted before this was for the deployed version. So if you're interested in seeing the gun kind of deployed and in a kind of uh, state where it would actually be able to fire on enemy aircraft or uh, something like that, then feel free to look at that tutorial. It will be linked at the end, uh, basically cards and uh, all that fun stuff. So feel free to check out that tutorial uh, to kind of see the deployed version, how to build that one. This one again is designed to be the towed version, so it is a bit different than the deployed version. Um, again, I want to give a special thanks to Patreon support of the Red Deer for making this video possible. Uh, if you guys are interested in supporting the channel more than you guys already do, feel free to check my Patreon page. Link is down in the description where you guys can get the vehicle of your choice, uh, depending on your reward or your basically your tier that you decide to uh, subscribe to. Uh, it helps me out personally as a content creator, and it, uh, you know, is a good way to support the channel and everything like that, and is much appreciated. Of course, you guys don't have to, but it's just there in case you guys want to check it out. Anyways, uh, going ahead and taking a look at the gun. It's uh, very similar, or pretty much it's exactly the same way to the uh, deployed version, except you'll notice a few minor things here and there. So, to go ahead and get started here, we have obviously the, um, kind of, you know, the front of the gun here. So we have our, uh, of course, our twin 23 millimeter um, cannons. We have the gun breech, uh, you know, basically the controls or everything like that, the reticle for aiming the gun, and also just like the controls for uh, turning and aiming and adjusting elevation and all that stuff right back here. And seats here for obviously probably the gunner and probably the uh, loader or something of that kind of sort, some kind of configuration. What's different about this one is the way that this... Uh, kind of sits so the kind of hitch back here kind of comes straight out instead of kind of curving up a little bit with the uh, deployed version and this was uh, made to mostly kind of just show that it can attach up to trucks and stuff like that pretty easily so it should attach up uh, fairly nicely to any of my you know trucks I, I've designed I haven't designed many Soviet trucks so uh, there is kind of a lack in that department but it could be uh, attached up to future trucks and you know maybe even uh, light armored vehicles or something of that sort that I've built. Um, this thing also you can see with the wheels, we have the wheels deployed and the axle that goes across in between the wheels. You can see with the deployed version, the wheels kind of fold outward. Um, so that's one of the main key differences. So this gun does sit uh, basically one block taller, I believe, um, than it did before it, the uh, you know standard version or the deployed version did. So it does sit a little bit higher, but uh, again, you know, it's the towed version and everything like that. Anyways, that's pretty much an overview for the Toad version for the ZU-23-2. Let's go ahead and get into the tutorial. Uh, we're not going to be doing any layers for this since it's a very simple build. Um, so let's just go ahead and dive straight into it. Alrighty guys, so diving into the tutorial. Now, uh, what we're going to be doing is we're going to go ahead and build it as if we were attaching it to a vehicle. Obviously, we don't have any physical vehicles sitting here, but we can go ahead and kind of get an idea of how this would attach up to any kind of vehicle I have. Now, uh, most of my vehicles that are going to have towing 
capabilities or something like that, like, like that basically any truck strength like that, we'll have a um, kind of a hitch on the back here that's either a top slab, but most of the time it's probably going to be a half slab about this height. Um, if it does not have this, then you can obviously just add it onto the back of the vehicle, but it shouldn't be that much of a problem. Um, you can see with this version here, I have the zombie head, so if you're just having this thing kind of standard just sitting here, um, in it's kind of toad form format, you can opt out of having, or opt of having the zombie head. But if you're attaching this to a truck, you're going to want to get rid of the zombie head and just go straight into a dark oak fence gate. So we can represent this stone brick slab here as our hitch, and then the dark oak fence gate as obviously the, um, first kind of part here of the trailer so again it just kind of depends on what truck you're building it attached to but um you know that's something to take into account anyways uh from this dark oak with fence gate that's coming off this uh, slab you can see it's a block off the ground so a full block off the ground we're going to place down a dark oak with slab coming off the fence gate followed by a second slab after the fence gate like that um going back after that's done we're going to go and place down a dark oak with fence gate open up toward this uh second slab on both sides like so after that is complete, we're going to go ahead and continue on by placing down another dark oak wood fence gate uh, after these dark oak wood slabs here. So just like this can kind of continue its way inward. Uh, we're then going to place down a dark oak wood top slab coming off both sides of this dark oak wood fence gate. So like that. After that is done, we're going to go uh, at an angle from this uh, dark oak wood top slab. We're going to place down a dark oak wood upside down stair like this going back on both sides. We then want to go ahead and go to the bottom of this stair and uh, we're going to have to place down a wooden trap door uh, like this on the bottom of the dark oak wood up downstairs just like that so we should have something that kind of looks like this so far for it after that is all done we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves dark oak wood slabs or we're going to place down a dark oak wood top slab come off this dark oak wood fence gate followed by a zombie head on both sides of this dark oak wood top slab once that's done come off the zombie head here we're going to place down a nether brick stair like this we're then going to place down an upside down nether brick stair underneath this stair for the first half of the wheel here and we can do the same thing over here so dark oak wood, uh, regular stair, like so, and an upside down stair underneath it, like that. Once that's all done, we're going to place down another upside down stair behind this stair, and also another stair, or regular stair behind that stair, like so. We're then going to take some stone brick slabs, we're going to place down one, two, and three. Stone brick top slabs that go across in between these um, stairs like that. We're then going to need to go ahead and go into our inventory. We're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a anvil. And we're going to place down an anvil on the center stone brick top slab there to kind of connect the um, axle up to the actual chassis. And then we're just going to place down a trip bar hook on both sides behind those dark oak wood stairs. Continuing on, we're going to place down a dark oak wood top slab coming off the anvil, followed by a uh, zombie head on both sides of the dark oak wood top slab. We then want to place down a second dark oak wood top slab going toward the front. We're going to place down a dark oak wood fence gate coming off both sides of the slab. And we're going to open up the fence gate so they connect up to the dark oak wood top slab after that's done on the end here we're going to place down there dark oak wood upside down stair and just like we did for the stairs in the back we're going to go and place down a uh, wooden trap door on the bottom of the stair and we then want to place down a sign on the front of the stair like so after that's all done that's kind of a, our base of our uh, anti-aircraft gun established you can see from above what it kind of looks like and with that we can go and continue on so uh, for this, we're going to take a stone bun, we're going to place it down on top of this dark oak wood upside down stair here. We're then going to place down a green carpet after the stone bun. We then want to place down a dark oak wood stair, followed by a green stain clay block. And we're also going to grab ourselves a dispenser and place down a dispenser on top of this dark oak wood top slab. Once that's all done, we want to go ahead and uh, place down a end rod on top of these two zombie heads right here on both sides. We're also going to go ahead and go to the middle in between these uh, dark oak wood stairs. We're going to place down a dark oak wood top slab in between these two stairs like so. And we're going to place down a redstone comparator on top of these stairs with the two notches uh, basically going out to the outsides. So like that on both sides. Once that's done, we're going to place down a dark oak wood stair that kind of comes off this um, dark oak wood stair right here kind of forward like that. Uh, we're then going to place down a zombie head on top of the nether brick stair, like so. And on top of the zombie head, we're going to place down a green carpet. Um, there, my bad. Green carpet, like so. We then want to place down a dark oak wood fence gate coming off the zombie head like that. And that's going to kind of do it there for the fender. So we're going to do the same thing over here. So again, dark oak wood stair. We're going to place down a zombie head, like so. Green carpet and a dark oak wood 
fence gate like so. Um, with that all done, we're going to go ahead and uh, continue on. We can go and go into our inventory, grab ourselves some item frames and also some red stained glass. These are going to be basically the brake lights that will be on the fenders for the gun. So red stained glass right here. We're going to place down an item frame on these two dark oak wood stairs in the front here and some, item, some uh, red stained glass in those item frames. We also want to go ahead and grab ourselves a sign and we're going to place down a sign here coming off of those two dark oak wood stairs like so. Uh, with that all done, we're going to go ahead and go to the dark oak wood top slabs back here, kind of at an angle from the dispenser. We're going to place down a uh, wooden trap door on both sides. We then want to place down a wooden trap door coming off those wooden trap doors, uh, flicked upward or opened up like so, so you kind of create these seats. And just for a little bit of sight in here, we're going to place down a sign on these two dark oak, or these two uh, wooden trap doors like that on both sides. And in the middle, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a zombie head and place it down coming off the dispenser. Uh, with that all done, uh, we can go ahead and also grab ourselves some green carpet and we can place down some green carpet on top of these uh, dark oak wood upside down stairs. Uh, going ahead and continuing up with the gun, we're going to go and grab ourselves a shulker box. We're going to place down a shulker box on top of this green stained clay block, followed by an upside down narrow brick stair coming off the shulker box toward the rear and a regular narrow brick stair coming off the shulker box toward the front. Uh, we then want to grab ourselves a, a nether brick slab, place it down coming off the dark oak wood stair. We're then going to place down a dark oak wood slab coming off the nether brick uh, slab like that. We're going to place down a sign on both sides of this dark oak wood slab. We also want to go ahead and place down two dark oak wood fence gates, one on either side of this nether brick slab. So two dark oak wood fence, gate, fence gates open up on both sides. So like so. After that's all done, we're going to go and place down a green or a zombie head on both sides of this nether brick stair. Um, once that's done, we're going to place down a dark oak with top slab on both sides of the shulker box. And uh, that's going to kind of do it for that section. We also want to go ahead and go to the front here. We're going to go and place down two uh, basically uh, dark oak with fence gates coming off this dark oak with slab here. So one and two fence gates. And we're going to open them up like that to create our barrels. Uh, now onto the top portion here. We're almost done with the gun. We're going to place down a redstone comparator on top of this dark or nether brick upside down stair. We then want to place down a green carpet on this dark oak with top slab to the right side. After that's all done, we're going to place down a dark oak with fence gate opened up toward the redstone comparator on top of the shulker box. We're going to go ahead and place down a dark oak with stair uh, kind of next to this uh, redstone comparator kind of come off to a side here. We also want to grab ourselves a Wither Skeleton Skull and place down a Wither Skeleton Skull coming off the left side of this narrow brick upside down stair. Uh, on the back of this dark oak wood uh, stair, we're going to place down a dark oak wood top slab. We then want to place down a sign on the side of the top slab. On top of the top slab, we're going to place down a redstone comparator uh, facing this direction. And we also want to place down a wooden trap door on top of this dark oak wood fence gate, like so. Last thing for us to do is just go into our inventory or create a menu. We're going to go ahead and grab ourselves an item frame and also a black uh, wool block. We're going to place down an item frame on this dark oak with top slab, followed by a black wool block in it like that for the uh, sights and kind of like all that fun stuff. So anyways, once you guys have that all done, that's going to do it for the toad version of the ZU-23-2 uh, anti-aircraft gun. Really cool design for it. Um, the deployed version came out really good and the toad version is no exception to that. Uh, so hope you guys do enjoy the uh, different versions for this gun or able to put to good use in any kind of scenarios you guys be, may be creating. Um, anyways, just enjoy the design. If you guys do end up using it, I do ask that you guys give me proper credit for it. This being thing from a silent build, tweet to my channel or this video if this does appear on any social media sites. Just be sure to get proper credit for the build. That's all I ask for in doing these tutorials. It helps my channel grow and it continues to keep um, me inspired to keep on posting these types of videos. So as long as you guys give me credit for it, you're free to use it for whatever projects you guys are working on. And that, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Garrett 2 4 and I'll see you guys next time.